Hi, this is Mr. Royks. I'm going to take you through these uh, practice problems that will prepare you for the test that's coming up next week. Uh, so these first five are all prediction problems where we need to determine uh, what type of reaction it is. So if we look at the first one here, uh, it's aluminum metal, which is an element, and it's reacting with an aqueous solution, which is silver nitrate, which is a compound. So when you have an element and a compound, uh, that should be a clue that we're dealing with a single replacement or displacement reaction uh, in which one of the, or excuse me, the element is going to take the place of one of the other elements in the compound. So we have aluminum metal, Al, plus silver nitrate. So again, silver is one you just got to memorize. Silver is a plus one charge. Nitrate, you look up that in your list of polyatomic ions, is a negative one charge, so it's AgNO3. Okay. Um, since aluminum is a metal and it's going to, when it forms ions, it's going to form a three positive ion, it's going to take the place of silver um, in the compound. So we're going to end up with Al NO3 in parentheses 3 plus Ag. And again, the reason why it's three nitrates is because nitrates charge is negative one, and aluminum is a positive three, so they need to neutralize or add up to zero. So that's that one. And then to balance this, we would want a three in front of the Ag and a three and three in front of the Ag, and that's it. Uh, next one, we have magnesium metal plus hydrobromic acid. So magnesium metal is Mg. Hydro prefix hydro tells you it's hydrogen and one other element. And that element is bromine, so it's HBr, bromine being a negative 1, hydrogen being a positive 1, so it adds up to 0. And then in this case, uh, since hydrogen is the positive ion, magnesium, when it forms an ion, will form a 2 positive ion. It's going to take the place of the hydrogen. We're going to end up with MgBr2 because magnesium is a plus 2 and bromine is a negative 1. So we need to balance the charges. And don't forget, when we're dealing with hydrogen, that hydrogen is a diatomic, so it's H2. And then to balance that, we just put a 2 in front of the HBr. Next one is lithium metal, Li, plus oxygen gas, O2. In this case, it's a synthesis reaction, and um, we're going to end up with Li2O. And that's because lithium metal, when it forms ions, is a positive 1. And the oxygen, as we mentioned before, is a 2 negative. Combustion of pentane. Oh, sorry, we need to balance this. So we need to put a uh, 2 in front of that and a 4 in front of that. And now that's balanced. Combustion of pentane. Anytime you have a combustion reaction, that means that you're reacting something with oxygen. And so this is... Oops. Oxygen, remember, is a diatomic, so it needs to be O2. And when you combust a hydrocarbon, uh, you get carbon dioxide and water. And so now it's a matter of balancing. We'll put a 5 in front of the CO2. We will put a 6 in front of the H2O and an 8 in front of the O2, and that's balanced. Uh, next one, silver metal and aqueous calcium nitrate. So, silver metal is just Ag. Aqueous calcium nitrate is CaNO3. Calcium is a plus 2, nitrate is a minus 1, so that would be CaNO32. And it is a single replacement, so the silver will replace the calcium. We'll end up with silver nitrate and calcium metal. And so to balance this, two in front of the silver nitrate and a two in front of the silver. And remember, the reason why it's one silver and one nitrate is this is a plus one charge and this is a minus one. So it adds up to zero. We don't need any subscripts. All right. Um, I will show you the next uh, ten on the next video.